Kevin McCurdy, Ernie Orsetti, and this is Legal Tip Tuesday. I want to talk about separation agreements. If your employment has been terminated, it's very likely that your employer has presented you with uh, severance pay, and in connection with that, has asked you to sign a separation agreement, and has given you some time to discuss that separation agreement with an attorney. And the reason for that is because the employer is most likely included in that separation agreement waivers, certain statutory rights. And those statutes require that the employer give you the opportunity to speak with an attorney. I would urge you to take that opportunity to speak with an employment attorney. Um, find out what your rights are because the United States Supreme Court has recently ruled that certain provisions contained in employment separation agreements uh, have, uh, are illegal. Specifically, the um, provisions in separation agreements that provide for confidentiality that have been used for decades uh, are overly broad and violate sections of the National Labor Relations Act, which prohibit employees from discussing these separation agreements with other employees and agents of the, of the government. And the Supreme Court has said that violates the law. We can take a look at those agreements and let you know whether or not it does violate it, whether or not it invalidates the entire agreement, or whether that section can be separated from the rest of the agreement. And there are other aspects of the separation agreement which um, raises red flags and which should be considered before you agree to accept severance pay and sign a separation agreement. Uh, they're very, very, uh, they're, these agreements uh, need to be very carefully examined before you decide to accept severance pay and sign your rights away. And the employment lawyers at Quartini Law Group can help you make that decision. This is Ernie Orsetti, and this has been Your Legal Tip Tuesday.